Stephanie Milkey here, a.k.a. Keto Mom, or often called mom, sis, Steffi, daughter, wife, aunt, and friend. Just like many of you, I carry a lot of titles. My favorite title is mom. I should probably say wife, which takes a lot of my time. But let's be honest. If you want to do something and do it well, you will make the time for it. Commitment is hard because we find ourselves overcommitted. But when you practice prioritizing, you will find out what is actually important and what you can let go. With the Keto Mom Podcast, you will learn together how to manage our time, commit to the most important things in life, and I will equip you with the tools you need to feel qualified each step of the way. My name is Stephanie Milkey, and welcome to the Keto Mom Secrets Podcast. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. Oh, good goodness. I'm sitting outside. I am sitting outside. It is beautiful. I'm tuning in from Minnesota, and we're wrapping up the book. The compound effect. So as you're tuning in, tell me where you're tuning in from. It's a beautiful morning. All right. So I, the, the way he wraps up the book is very, very simple. If you have not watched any of the lives of the book that we have gone through, I like to go through books to help you with your mindset. I like to go through books to help you realize that I 100% believe that you hitting your goals before I were to even give you a recipe or before I were to even tell you how to eat, although it's very important, is to truly understand your mindset, have the awareness of how you think, and the words and the thoughts that you're speaking over yourself. Super important. The Compound Effect was an incredible book to help you understand the choices that you make and the habits that you have, how to take out or get rid of or eliminate the bad choices, Let's just say habits, right? The bad habits and to start implementing good ones. To hit your goals faster, which oftentimes people ask, you have to do more, right? And so if you do, if you have not read the book and you need to eliminate some bad habits and implement some good habits, you can always go to ketomomsecrets.com and click on book club. So I've done probably 24 books. We'll pick a new book. But this is how he wraps up this, this entire book. And he basically says this, and I've said this a lot. He says, learning without execution is useless. And so I will tell people, if you are watching, my my husband loves to research. He loves research. He loves to follow lots of different people, figure out what they're doing on their, in their health, biohacking. And, and sometimes people contradict each other, right? Right. It's like, do I do the keto diet? Oh, I'm following somebody that's paleo. I'm following somebody that's whole 30. I'm following somebody that does, what's the point system? You know, like you can get so fixated on following so many different people and reading so many different things. And sometimes they contradict each other. And what I like to tell people is this, figure out what you want to do. And then you need to do it. You need to have action, not just learning. If you're constantly learning and you're like watching this person, they're like, oh shoot, that might be wrong. And you're watching this person and then you've got a third person. You're like, I don't even know. Usually what that's going to do is it's going to cause you to do nothing, right? A confused mind does nothing. So if it just comes down to diet, the diet that's going to work for you, whether it's paleo or whole 30 or keto or just eating healthy or the one that you count points, guess what? The one that's going to work for you is the one that you stick with long term. This book talks about consistent action over time, excuse me, over time. And any diet that you do should talk about drinking water. It should talk about eating less sugar. It should talk about moving your body. I would hope you're just making better choices with proteins and veggies, right? I mean, let's just be real. You can you can follow too many people and get confused and do nothing, or you can have a focus, understand what you're doing and then take action. And that's what he's saying. He says, learning without execution is useless, useless. And if you're confused, a confused mind does nothing. So he just wraps up the book and he says, Hey, don't be disillusioned. Uh, Don't use this. Motivation is temporary. You need to have your own inspiration, your why, why are you wanting what you're wanting? And he tells a ton of stories, which I, I, I always say I'm not going to read them. But he wraps it up like this. He goes, oftentimes, you know, let me ask you this question. 
If you can remember the last five years of your life and the goals that you set for yourself January 1st. So let's say if I had to say, what were your last five years like? What were the New Year's resolutions that you implemented? Did you hit those? So he says, look back at your last five years and are you now where you thought you would be? If you had to answer that question, yes or no, the last five years, are you where you want to be today because of the last five years of your choices? Have you kicked the bad habits? Are you in better shape? Do you have the income that you want? Do you have the vibrant health and abundant loving relationships? If not, why? So so it's time to make a new choice. Choose to not let the next five years be the continuous of the last five, right? He goes, I, and then he's got, I've got one more valuable piece of information for you before we're done with the book. So we've talked about habits. We've talked about the compound effect, how you compound them. We talked about taking action. I mean, if you did not go through the book, ketomomsecrets.com, click on book club. But he says, here's one more thing I'm going to tell you. And I've said this before. I've learned this from one of my mentors. He says, one of the most valuable things that you can do is he goes, he goes, uh, let me hold on. I don't want to read the entire paragraph to you. He goes, whatever you want in life, if there's something that you're wanting in life, he goes, I recommend that you go give it to somebody else. If you want to boost your confidence, go encourage somebody. If you want to feel hopeful and positive, and inspiring, guess what? Go infuse that in somebody else's day. If you want more success, if you want success for him, for himself, he goes, the fastest way to get it is to go help somebody else obtain it. You get what you give, right? If you are like, man, I just need to be encouraged, go encourage somebody. Hey, I just need to feel inspired, go inspire somebody. Even to the point where you're like, if I need finances, right? Maybe you sow a seed and bless somebody else. What you give, you have forever. And what you give and also help other people obtain, you will you will obtain. Does that make sense? So I love the book. I would say if I had to put a couple words to, to wrap up this entire book, it's inspired action. It's action of not waiting until next week or waiting until next month or having everything perfect and realizing, realizing it takes time. It's action with time and 100% doing it with other people. You are not meant to do life by yourself. None of us were. And so whether it's tuning into the Keto Mom page, asking me questions, I would love to help you, asking somebody around you, asking somebody to mentor you, the power of the ask. Do not do life by yourself because if you do, guess what? The likelihood of you achieving everything that's inside of you that you know that you have the gifts and talents and the, and the goals that you're like, I know I'm made for more. If you try to do it by yourself, you yourself can talk your own self out of it. But if you have somebody else on your side, rooting for you, encouraging you and knowing that you've got a goal and a focus you want to hit, I can go, Hey, how are you doing? Or your neighbor can go, remember you told me you wanted to hit that goal. How's it going? <clears throat> your best friend or your mom. Hey, How's your goal going, right? We're meant to do life together. And so this is the book that we went through. I have to pick a new book. If you, if you, if you have a book that you, you're like, I'd love to go through this book. Or if you've seen a title of a book, if you've gone through a book and you're like, man, this, this would be an incredible book on the Keto Mom page, post it below so I can share it. Otherwise, continue to tune in. Happy Friday. Your presence matters. Uh, reach out with any questions. I hope you have an incredible day. The point of this book is to execute it. Anything you're learning in life, it doesn't just work. You can't just know it. You've got to take it from here and you've got to put it into action. So have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.